What another great day. Jonathan McDonald here getting ready to do another open box package. Also, I'm going to do, a, there was two packages at the door. One is from Elite Feet. The other one is from Garage Beards. So, I don't know if you guys seen, I did shave it down right when I got the package. Well, before I got the package. But um, let's go ahead and open this box up, see what's in here. Uh, as always, I have my Celsius today. I shouldn't say as always, usually I'll have a coffee or water, but I do have the sparkling kiwi guava. Big shout out to Celsius. And today I am using my Benchmade uh, cuttery knife here. So let's go ahead and open this on up. Check out this package. They weren't messing around. Looks like something's in there. Some kind of padding. All right. I'm pretty confident it's comic books. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is comic books. But I've been ordering so much offline. So I've been trying different auction sites. Um, trying them out to see. Huh. This is pretty cool. You guys see all that? Kept cutting them down to fit. boxes in here. I think this one might be empty. Right. And it is. I'll use that for later. Alright, pick this to the side. Alright, let's start with the bigger one. Nice Lone Star Comics, my comic shop. out of plastic very cool all right from CGC we have a 9.8 um, spawn number 229 the Incredible Hulk annual number one cover homage how cool is that just a great looking cover. Told you guys I'm a huge Spawn fan. Spawn battles the humans. Oh no, it's the humans. And now that I actually have a CGC case, man, just feeling it, the CBC, the CBS one, CBCS, does feel a lot more solid. I'll have to do a, a run on all three. All right. Let's move on. Man, very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Sure, these have to be more spawns. Let's 
So this package I got right here is from Comic Cave. And they're an auction that runs once to twice a week. All right, let's see what we got here. One ten, start 110. All right, we have X-Men Classic number 69. It's like when the brood was coming in. Let's see right there. So big fan of X-Men Classic. I don't know what it is. I like them. So. <laughs> Captain Kronos. Vampire Hunter. Hammer Glamour. That's different. All right. We got Spawn 316 variant cover. Look at that. That is just nasty looking. In a good way. We've got Spawn 316 variant cover. Look at this. Man. Oh, we got Spawn 316 variant cover. The one I showed you before, but the black and white version variant very cool I'll do it side by side very cool all right we've got spawn 316 I don't know how I got that one. Huh. We got Spawn 316. Another variant cover. Look at that. Nice. And then we have Suicide Squad Part 2. I guess the same reason I got the Vampire Hunter. Yeah, is when I get going on an auction. So I do have Suicide, Suicide Squad 1. Um, there is the new Suicide Squad movies getting ready to come out. So ready to send those in, get them graded, and watch them go up in price. All right, let me clean this up. And then I was out at... The flea market today. Thought I'd show you guys what I picked up. Big fan of Sleepwalker. I don't know how many of you know Sleepwalker. All three of my uh, followers. <laughs> Sleepwalker number one. I got into this book in the 90s. You know, I was very young. So, started in 91. And then I just, man, I, I, I love the storyline. Started following it, had the whole collection, and then I had the entire run, and then lost it over the years. Sleepwalker number 11. So now I've been trying to recollect it. It's a lot more difficult than you think. Now I can't go on Amazon and buy them, but I'll be paying like $8 a book to $15 a book, which is absolutely crazy. Sleepwalker number 33. And then I picked up, 
I don't know how I got into this run, but I believe it's Mantra or Mantra, which is uh, Malibu Comics Ultraverse. It's Malibu, right? Yes. I almost have the whole run with a couple variant covers. Yes, yeah, it's just, it's funny. And then I picked up, I'm trying to collect this run, What If. I got What If Captain America Hadn't Vanished During World War II. So I picked that up today as well. New stand edition. Very cool. All right, let's do a little bonus opening. Once again, my beard was just a little bit longer. And a buddy's like, hey, I've got a good friend that owns Garage Beards. And he's like, can I interest you in some uh, beard balm and beard oil for free to try it out? I said, absolutely. So let's see what we got here. All right, we got a beard balm, cedar wood. Hmm. Cedar wood. Look at his logo. Nope. Hmm. So you guys can see the pistons on there without it. That's a cool logo. And then we have the beard oil. Sweet almond oil. Avocado oil. Where every guy wants to be. What? Where every guy wants to be and what every guy wants to grow. A beard. Hmm. Hmm. Smells very manly, very tough. All right. Thank you, Garage Beards. You guys are great. They're located in Lake City, Florida. All right, perfect. All right, guys, that is it. I will catch you on the next one. I am. I am getting. What you call it together? I already told you guys I'll do a. When I get ready for the send them in for the CGC, I've got about 16 or 17 books. I'm getting ready to send in. So before I do, of course, I would do a video prior. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.